Another beautiful morning to start. Oh yeah. Having a little coffee, watching some Daily Woo. It's gonna be a good one. Creepers. Yeah, the moon was really full last night. Still pretty much see it. Which is perfect for today. How you crazy creeps doing? We are back on the Creeper Cruiser on the Springwater Corridor. I hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're creeping with. But today... Speaking of full moons, we are headed into Portland to check out Monroe's house. That's right, one of my favorite characters from the hit show Grimm on NBC, which I actually was on as a, you know, as an extra in the very last season. I played a prisoner, which we did a vlog on not too long ago, but Monroe being my favorite character, and I believe on the show was like a werewolf or I think they called them a wizen. It's been a while since I seen the show, but one of my favorite shows on TV, Grimm, that's right. And today we are heading to Monroe's house to check it out. And what makes it even more special is on the show, he loved Halloween as much as we do. And so I found some shots of that episode and it's when they decorated his house for Halloween. So stay tuned. We're doing a little Grimm creeping. Just made it here to the Tillicum, which is for only buses, trains, and pedestrians, which is nice. And I hear the train way off in the distance. And we've got a streetcar coming. And the bus. Just a beautiful bridge. And we are headed up to Barber, which isn't too far from here, but I wanted to give you guys a shot of downtown this morning, looking beautiful. Current time about 10.30 a.m. And we're gonna go over the bridge next. Creeper Cruiser. Check out this mural. All the way through here. That is awesome. Goes all the way up here. It's like a howl back in there. That's cool. All right, moving on. There's also some pieces down on that wall. Oh, speaking of creepy goodness. Look at this. Oh, this is good. That is so awesome. Got the habaneros. I think they're habaneros. I thought they were pumpkins at first. They could almost, could almost be. That is awesome. There's her, or his Instagram. At Notes Wise Lion. Ah, that is so sick. Love it. All right. I am stoked. And Google's yelling at me. 418. Okay, I hear you. Exit. We are here at the Grim House. That's right. And in fact, Silas is probably one of my favorite actors on the show. Like I said, he was like a wizen or a werewolf on the show. And uh, this was his house, Monroe's house right here. And uh, a lot of the filming took place. Like I said, he loved um, Halloween in the episodes. And so when they did the Halloween episode, they actually had the house all decked out. And I found some clips of that episode 
I'll have to leave in the description as to what episode number it was, but it shows Silas setting everything up for Halloween and he's got like a skeleton character and Nick, his partner, brought him a, like a piece of, what is it, like an old school armory ball with the little spikes on it and the skeleton actually projected it at the trick-or-treaters. Well, the trick-or-treaters came to his house. They were trying to wrestle some candy from one of the girls here and Silas, well, Monroe, saw all that going down and he went outside and helped the girl get her candy back so those same kids that you know were help you know hurting the girls halloween taking her candy silas actually they weren't scared until he showed them that he could actually change you know he grimmed himself into the werewolf character and that all happened right here on the porch and what was really funny is the kids set the skeleton up to kind of when they would walk up it would it would do like this well they set it the other way so it actually broke his window and so when he approached the kids, um, he told them, hey, look, you'll get your cell phone back. Well, he took their phone because they were watching it on like a YouTube pretty much kind of thing. And he walked up behind them and said, hey, and he took their phone and he said, when I get my window replaced, this window right here, you will get your phone back. So the kids weren't scared. They said, oh, who do you think you're scaring, mister? It's Halloween. And so he kind of morphed into, well, he grimmed himself into that werewolf and then the kids took off. Uh, but then they came back and, um, well, no, they originally broke the window and then all that happened. But all that took place right here. And what's really cool about that episode was Monroe loved Halloween. So the house was all decked out and they had like one of those, you know, like spirit Halloween animatronics out here with the little doggy. And I believe in the episodes, I'm not sure if the bug, I think the bug was parked on the lawn. But he drove a Volkswagen Beetle in the show. Maybe this was the driveway, actually. I just got the pictures kind of mixed up. But there you have it, Monroe's house from Grimm. Like I said, which I was fortunate enough to actually be on the show at one point. So that was pretty darn cool to kind of be a part of that whole thing. But here you have it, Monroe's house. And they used a ton of Portland. Um, a lot of the sets were actually, like where I filmed was actually a set. So they had a lot of the facades of the houses actually in the building that we filmed in. So I'm not sure if they actually had the Mon at Monroe's, you know, the facade of his house, but most of the interior and exterior shots were actually shot, I believe here on premise. Um, but they did have, you know, a big like barn warehouse where, you know, they had Nick's house and the police station and a lot of the other places around town that they filmed, so. Don't really want to hang out too much here because I want to be respectful to the neighbors and stuff. And if you guys do, I'm not going to leave the address either, but if you guys do, it's easy to find. You can, you can pretty much find it if your heart desires. But if you do come up here, make sure you're always respectful and, you know, be, be respectful of the neighbors. Try not to hang out too much. In fact, I kind of hung out there a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I wanted to just kind of show you guys, you know, parts of Portland too. And there's a whole playlist up above if you guys want you can check out a ton of movies that have been filmed here tv shows um and hopefully more to come so pretty darn cool that that was all filmed right there and i love the fact that it was you know the halloween episode and i'll do my best to kind of you know insert pictures and whatnot as well of that but there you have it monroe's house from Grimm kind of sad they only did six seasons they were i was hoping i believe i could be wrong they had another season in the works like i believe se it was a go for season seven um, but i think some of the actors decided to kind of move on but yeah silas he was a he's a great great actor probably my favorite character throughout the whole show so there you have it the grim house you do this every year of course are you kidding me Halloween for us, come on. That's like bigger than Christmas. <laughs> for that episode, you could have seen the cameras out front here and a ton of the cobwebs. But what I thought was really kind of ironic and funny too is check it out. We're right here on a dead end. <laughs> so funny. All right. That's gonna do it from the Grim House. On the dead end. Ha 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 ha.
that's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way, when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. If you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.